Kentucky native Jason Smith won Food Network's Holiday Baking Championship, and he's sharing one of his favorite holiday treats with us. Here's his quick and easy fudge without all the fuss. Well, Lord, honey, children, let me tell you, it's Christmas time, and as you all can see, I have on one of my new shirts that just came out. I have a whole line of a Christmas apparel that's just hit the website. There's all kinds of shirts. There's long sleeve t-shirts. There's raglans like these, but they all have wonderful Christmas sayings on them, and I guarantee you that you need them for your holiday celebration because they're comfortable and they're fun to wear. I mean, you can make them into those pajama parties. You can use them for anything. So I've been working a lot on that. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a new candle line that is coming out in January. And it's really cool. So all the candles that'll be in the line will be all food scents. Like our very first one that's coming out is butter, bacon, and bourbon. So I can't wait for people to get those. Oh, that sounds amazing. And I love your shirt, I'll be gnome for Christmas. That's great. <laughs> so will you be gnome for Christmas? You're in Florida right now, but where will you be for Christmas? You're coming back to Kentucky. Yeah, so I will be gnome for Christmas. I'll be <laughs> at, my, uh, at my Kentucky farm in Grayson, Kentucky for Christmas. So I'll be there for the week uh, and then back to Florida because, honey, I, I ain't doing the cold weather. I can then tell you, Santa can sn bring snow for Christmas, and then I'm good with that. And then after that, I've got to get back to warm weather. So. so today you're going to be making one of your favorite Christmas treats, fudge. I love fudge this time of year. So what makes this fudge special? You know, fudge to, uh, fudge to me just really screams the holidays or Christmas. I can remember growing up, uh, you know, my grandmothers and my aunts and my mom always made fudge. And it's one of those things that just makes you feel like a child again. So fudge is definitely a Christmas staple for me. And instead of having to stand over the stove for hours, I have developed a recipe that takes like five minutes to make and it takes about 30 minutes to set but it will taste like you have taken all day to do this fudge and you can make tons of it give it away as gifts and presents and honey i'm telling you what you will fall in love with it jennifer even even you sugar darling will be able to make this fudge you can make this fudge for when santa claus comes and i guarantee you he'll stop at your house and he probably won't be leaving so <laughs> I think that you ought to try this one. So all it is, is it's a dump and stir method. So what we do is we use one can of cake frosting just from the store, any flavor you want. I have vanilla here today. You can do chocolate if you want to. It is one package of chocolate chips, or you can use butterscotch chips, or you can use white chocolate chips. You can use any flavor chips you want. One jar of, of uh, marshmallow cream. You know, that's the good stuff, Jim. That, that's that uh, stuff we like to mix with peanut butter and eat it straight out of a jar and all that. That's, the, that's what makes this fudge very soft. It makes it like homemade fudge or the fudge that you stand over the stove and stir for hours. And then we just have a teaspoon of vanilla. Sometimes I put in caramel flavoring. Sometimes I put in peppermint extract. So you can make this with all different kinds of flavors, but you just put it in your in your kettle, or I've got a skillet here today because I think that a skillet sometimes is easier to stir in. And it's all about just folding and melting, and it comes together very quickly. And you can make this into any variety. You can get this on my website, the recipe at southerncutyourbling.com, and it'll tell you the different varieties you can make it in. It's called my quick and easy fudge, and honey, it is super quick, it's super easy, and I'm telling you, honey, even the reindeers will be knocking down the door to get some when Santa Claus stops because it is that good. But you can even mix in like pecans, you can do cranberry, dried cranberries, you can do all types of nuts, you could do crushed peppermint. As you can see, it comes together very quickly. And the good thing is, is one of my favorites, I call it a s'mores. And so when I get it melted, I dump in some graham cracker crumbs and stir that in and then top it with crushed graham cracker crumbs and more uh, miniature marshmallows. But as you see, it just comes together that quick. And then you just dump it into a 
nine by nine or an eight by eight rectangular pan. And then this one, what we're gonna do for it today is we're gonna sprinkle on some toasted pecans and then we're going to put on some of those wonderful festive holiday sprinkles just so that it screams the holiday. And then you just stick it in the refrigerator and let it set up and it takes about 30 minutes to set up and then just cut it out in small squares. Honey, I'm telling you, it is the best fudge you will ever put in your pie hole. I'm telling you, it's delicious. You're gonna wanna share it with all your neighbors, all your friends, or you can just take it to a dark room with a spoon and eat it because it's gonna make you happy, I can tell you. Or sit by the tree and eat it. But the fun part is, is get the whole family in the kitchen with this, you know. Have the kids come up and they can decorate it in different stuff. So, and they can come up with the flavor combinations. I mean, you see how quick and easy it is. So you could do 15 different flavors and you've got your Christmas presents covered this year. As you can see, it doesn't take many ingredients, so it's not gonna cost you a lot of money either. But that is my quick and easy fudge for the holiday. And you can get this recipe and your Country Bling apparel on my website at southerncountrybling.com. Honey, children, make it a ho, ho, holiday Christmas. I guarantee you'll have a great time. <laughs>